final thing in this basic behavior tree is going to be the searching state. And that was what we're going to go into eventually once we have chased the player but can't see the player anymore, moved to their last known location, waited, we'll go into this searching state instead of back to patrolling. What I want the AI to do in the searching state is let's say it's just gone to the player's last known location, which was say here. After it's waited for five seconds, pick a point somewhere near the player's last known location and just move there. And then wait a bit and then pick another point somewhere near the player's last known location and move there and do that a couple of times as though it's kind of just searching around the area where the player was last seen. And then if it hasn't found the player, go back to patrolling. So how are we going to do this? Well, we go back to the behavior tree first of all, and we're going to need another vector key on our blackboard. So we, we need to store where this search location is, where do we want to wander to, but we can't use target for that because target expects objects and there's, there's not necessarily going to be an object where we want to walk to. We don't want to just overwrite player last known position because, well, we need player's last known position to work out where our search you know, point is, first of all. So we'll add a new key of type vector and we'll call this search location. Back over in the blackboard then, we can use that in a new task. And that's going to be a task that we're going to put in here somewhere, which is going to be, you know, find a search location for us to go to within some given radius of the player's last known location. And how we're going to do that is by using the nav mesh. If you remember way back when, if I just press P for preview, we put in a nav mesh, which basically works out where can AI actors get to. And it's this nav mesh we're going to use to find our search location. We'll start by adding a new task and then if you drop down list now, so which one do you want to base this on? We'll say the BT task blueprint base. And we'll have to go and rename that. Where's the new one? There it is. And we're going to call that BTT get search location. There we go. All right, so we'll start off with the receive ticket AI. And then we're going to need to get hold of that nav mesh. Now the way we're going to do that is with a get all actors of class. And the class in question is going to be recast nav mesh. Uh, recast nav mesh. That will basically give you access to an array with all the nav meshes in. Now there's only going to be one in our level. So we can just do a get on that array and just get element zero, which will be the nav mesh that we made in the first place. And then from there, we can do a get random reachable point in radius, which is how it sounds. You give it some origin point, give it some radius, and it will find another location which can be reached by the AI that is within this radius of this origin point. So the origin point in our case is going to be um, the player's last known location. To get that, we need to read the blackboard, so we need a blackboard key selector variable. So I'll add, we'll call it uh, BB key player last known position or something like that. Player last known pause, that'll do. It needs to be of type blackboard key selector and be public instance editable. Then we can drag that into here. Search for a get blackboard uh, value as vector because that's what player's last known location is. Put that into there and then when we go back to the behavior tree, we'll set that to the right blackboard key. Now radius, like when we did our walk speed one, I could just hard code a number in here, but I could also just turn this into a variable with promote to variable. And we'll call this something like search radius. Move that over there. And we'll also make that a public instance editable variable. Now what I'm also going to do is compile that and just change the default not to be zero. We'll put it on something like 500. Otherwise, if we had a search radius of zero, the AI might not move anywhere, and it might not be immediately obvious to us that that's the bug that's causing it, that we have zero search radius. So best to give it a, a decent sized a default value. Okay, so now this has found a random location, or at least tried to, this pin here will give us boolean true or false as to whether this actually worked or not. We want to store that back in that new blackboard key that we just made. Uh, so that'll be a new variable, BB key search location. Open the eye next to that to make it editable in the behavior tree. And then we'll grab this, do this time a set blackboard key as vector. So we're storing something into the blackboard. And it's going to be the search location that was found. And again, we'll wire that up to the right actual blackboard key over in the behavior tree. 
Now, because this returns a true false as whether it works, we can use that in our finish execute. Put finish execute in, then we can put the Boolean value into there. So the whole task will either fail or succeed, depending on whether this get random reachable point in radius failed or succeeded. So if this failed, we won't bother trying to walk there. And I don't think we have any other branches of execution here. No, that's fine. So what we need to do now is just go and adjust the behavior tree a little bit. Now, because remember I said I want it to pick a random point near to the player's last known location, walk to it, wait, then pick another one, walk to it. So it's going to do a set of tasks a certain number of times, like however many times you want it to wander around point to point to point, let's say three times. We can have a sequence and then tell that sequence to loop three times. So I'll add a composite sequence. Right click on our sequence and go add decorator loop. And it defaults to loop three times, but you can select it and then change that if you want to. Now, what do we want it to do three times? Well, first of all, that task we've just made, the uh, get search location, there it is. And before I forget, let's highlight this task and set up the blackboard key selector. So BB key player last known, oh, I spelled that wrong. Player last known is that. BB key search location is that one, search location. Search radius 500, I'll leave it on 500 and we'll change it if it doesn't look like it's working. Okay, so what do we want to do? So you, you've obtained a search location. Let's move to it using the move to task. And again, we need to remember to select that task and set the blackboard key. So on the blackboard, where what key represents the thing we want to move to? Well, in this case, it's search location. And then I'm just going to have a wait of something like two seconds. There we go. And then this whole process will loop again. It will go around three times. Now let's just give these some sensible names. So that can be um, get search location, move to, I'll rename that to move to search location, and then wait is fairly self-explanatory. And then what's going to happen when that sequence is done? So if we've run through this whole thing three times and we're still in the searching state, just go back to the patrol state using that task that we made up. Um, uh, BTT set state. Then on BTT set state, it is uh, the state key that we're setting, and we're setting it to patrolling. And then the last thing we need to change down here, when we can't see the player, we've gone to their last known position and waited five seconds. Instead of going to the patrolling state, we want to go to the searching for player state. And I think I've set all the blackboard keys up. If I haven't, we'll, we'll soon find out, and then we can come back in here and fix it. But um, all right, let's go. So what's happening here? AI is patrolling. It's going to get to this waypoint, then turn towards this waypoint, where it will see me start chasing. And if I can get around this corner before the AI comes around, yep, it's gone to the last location where it saw us, waiting for five seconds, and then should start. Yeah, there goes. Picks a random point somewhere near that, walks to it. Another random point near that, walks to it. Third one, and then should go back to patrolling. There we go. Let's see me again, and I'll try to. Where have you stopped? Oh, where have you gone? I'll try to get it so that while it's doing, I think I got it then while it was doing its random walking. Okay, so you're searching for me. Yeah, see, if it's doing those three random walks around to look for us and it does see us, it will just go straight back into the chasing state. Um, okay, so that's working. Now, in the next series of videos in this, which I'll, I'll try and do later this week if I get a chance, we will add on some combat-like stuff, like have the AI be able to attack us, uh, have us be able to attack it, and uh, etc. Okay, so I'll see you in the next videos. Bye.